Hi. You. How are you doing? You doing good? Everything okay? Really? Because uh, your Facebook says otherwise. Yeah, I want to talk to you Facebookers out there. Couple in particular. Um, I want to talk to you guys who uh, are putting everything on Facebook, like your dating and relationships that you're advertising on Facebook. Yeah, let's talk about that. Um, I get pissed off like the best of them. I get really mad just like the best of them. I am part Hispanic, I'm European, so I've got that whole like vibe of, yeah, I got it. Um, and as challenging as it is for me, because sometimes I just want to get on Facebook and be like, this little cracker, they just cut me off and I am ready to open up a can of whoop mm, on them. And I want to do that so many times, but I don't. I, I really, I, I want to, I want to so bad, but I don't. I do on my Twitter, though. I'm not going to lie. I do get on my Twitter. I'm like, I just want to ring that person. Nah, I don't do it too much. But okay, in all seriousness, I want to talk to you guys um, uh, who are incorporating Facebook uh, with your dating and relationships. Okay. Facebook is not the avenue that you want to be putting your business out there. Um, I'll use the term putting things on blast. Yeah, Facebook isn't the place to be doing that. Um, I understand if you get frustrated in your relationship, if you get frustrated in your breakup, I understand that. Um, start a journal. Write it down in a journal. Get some close friends that you can talk to and just say, hey, look, I am so pissed off. I'm going to rip this dude's head off. I am so pissed off with this girl. I swear, I swear, if she misses tires from her car tomorrow, I, I, I'm, it wasn't me. Okay, guys, girls, I get it, but it's really not the place to do it. You have to vent to your friends. You have to go to your journal and let that out. But really, for Facebook, it's not really the place to be putting out all your business. You know, I've seen it done a time or two with people, and I'm like, wow, that's kind of, uh, that's kind of out there, but, you know, do your business. Um, but when I'm, like, seeing it more and more and more, it's like, okay, all right, guys, we need some etiquette here, and let me just say that Facebook is not the place to be putting out your relationship and dating business. One, it makes you look like a crazy person. Let's just be honest. It makes you look like you're emotionally unstable, okay? So if you don't care how you look, then that's fine, um, but this is where you are going to be concerned with how you look. When you get back on the market and you're single again and, you know, there's a couple good-looking people on your Facebook that you'd like to talk to, or if you befriend someone and they're not on your Facebook and you befriend them and they go through and they do this thing like they will, like, inspect your gadget your butt and, like, go through your post and be like, what's this person about? And they're like, ooh, 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 crazy person putting business out on Facebook. Yeah, God forbid we have a fight and they put all of my business on Facebook not going there um, just just don't do it because you're not only like screwing yourself now but even for potential relationships you're just giving yourself a big flag of a no-go so don't do it as tempting as it is when you get the urge to splurge and just all over Facebook just stop and Take a deep breath, grab the desk, shake it a little, whatever you need to do. Go to your journal, write it down, pick up the phone, text message. You know, I definitely have my girlfriends that I call and I'm like, girl, 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 girl. And if they're not around, then I'm on that phone. I'm like, mom, really? Yeah, mom. And if if she's not there, then I just go to the good old journal and there's smoke coming out of the pen and I'm just... <sighs> but Facebook is not the place to do that. It's just not. I Trust me, I, I get the urge. I want to do it. I want to do it so many times. 
but you just have to stop. You don't want to really mess yourself up in the future. You don't want to um, you don't want to project a poor image because whether you like it or not, you are advertising yourself on Facebook. So imagine Facebook as a Match.com or eHarmony where it's online dating and you have this profile out there and that's really it. If you do become single, there are other single people on your Facebook that you are advertising yourself to. So be sure that you're advertising yourself wisely. Take a deep breath, journal, call friends, don't Facebook it, okay? So from Erica Angel, from my heart to yours, listen, I don't want to tell you this stuff. It's hard. I don't want to have to be the one to say it. But for your own safety net of potential relationships, just stop. Just just don't, okay? Mwah. Next time from Erica Angel. Really, I do love you. I really, I, I just don't want you to look like a crazy person, okay? All right, bye. No, really, bye.